Welcome back to the vlog, guys. Listen, this week is really a good week. I hope that you enjoy this new style of content creating that I'm doing so that you can kind of get a real glimpse of what's happening. Listen, let me drink this coffee. I'm just holding it. Good coffee. Amazing view. Ugh. Y'all know when I'm here, I just love it. So you'll learn more about that. But I'm doing a new style of vlog for the Simple Life series. And I want you to really tune in because it's important to be present, to embrace all the challenges that we have in our life. And most importantly, to go be great. You know, it's sweater weather. Listen, here in Alabama, I'm excited to have on a sweatshirt. But, you know, I still got on shorts. You know how we do. So. This week's vlog, overcoming hurdles, balancing life, being a CEO of your own business. It's tough. Let me tell you guys, it is really important for you to take responsibility for what it is that you want in life and be okay with the challenges that happen because they only make you stronger. I promise you. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this. Here we go. So I made it back to my parents' house in Alabama. After two weeks in Tampa, it was really a great getaway. But you know, my dad was prepared to put me to work. <laughs> as soon as I got back, he was ready to get in the yard and I was so happy to help him. As you know, my dad had a fall, an accident on the 4th of July and broke his hip his femur bone. So he's doing much better and I'm happy to help him so that he doesn't have to try and get out there. So I'm just loading this sod up. Let me tell you, this was a workout and I was happy to do it because I haven't been to the gym in a minute. So yeah, loaded up this gorilla wagon. This is the most awesome wagon y'all. Let me tell you, it is so easy to use and I pulled it to the backyard so that I can start helping him fill in this space back here. You can see where the, the greener part was already laid while I was gone. He had some help doing that and then I was happy to help him put the rest out. So it all worked out. So I am excited to get in here and start the day. It's Tuesday and it's time to be creative. I've got a business call strategy session with my client later on this evening, but the most up part of the day until about four o'clock, I'll be able to check in, do some design work and really be productive. So if you saw this week's Mindset Monday, we're talking about being productive and how important that is for just planning out your day, setting your goals for the month and making sure that you get things done. So I love this feeling of feeling productive productive and being able to take charge of my day and really get some things done. So here we go. So I've been here planning for this week's training and I'm excited because I'm usually behind the screen, right? Doing video or one-on-one -on -one consultations with my clients. So it'll be fun to have a group of people and do a hands-on meeting. Now I have to admit, I am a little nervous just because I'm actually born that way. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing something that's a little bit outside of the box for me. Um, I don't mind to talk to people and to speak, but my brain tends to go a little fast sometimes. And I want to be able to stay on track and make sure that people have a tangible takeaway, right? I don't want to waste anyone's time. So fingers crossed that this plan that I've been creating here for the for my team here will really be impactful and they'll leave feeling motivated and empowered to be great. Stay tuned. So Wednesday, I was so busy, I didn't even record anything. So now I'm headed to do my training. It's a beautiful, beautiful day this Thursday. Hey guys, okay, so it's Thursday and I am here to do a social media training. I think I've been talking to you about it this week and how I've been planning for it. And you know, being vulnerable, it's so, 
it's hard to be a leader and then also be vulnerable and be nervous and show that, you know, this is something new for me. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. And I think it's important as a leader to show that you can do those things. So that's what I'm doing today. I am stepping outside of my comfort zone. And of course I stepped outside and now my eyes are watering. Looks like I've been crying all day, but no, it's just allergies. <laughs> it's so crazy. But anyway, I'm getting ready to go in here and talk to some realtors about social media and how it can help their business. And I'm really excited. So I've got some snacks back here, stopped at the Publix and got some breakfast treats and some juice and some drinks and stuff. So we should have some fun today. All right, here we go. You know, teaching adults and being able to maneuver through all the questions and all the curiosities and help people overcome their fear is something that I'm trying to do with all of my clients because the majority of the people I work with are entrepreneurs. They work a full-time job. They're trying to start a side hustle or they are doing a brand new small business. And you know what? It's tough. So overcoming the fear of social media and just understanding the process is something that everybody has to do. And at this time, we had a really great meeting. And, I, and since I hadn't been in the office in a little while, the ladies pulled my plan out and it's doing so good. It's so cute. I was happy to see that. And you know, if you've been watching this vlog series, you know, I went to Old Time Pottery a few months ago and I've been talking about this pot that I wanted to actually have in my new apartment and really do like a tall tree kind of moment. And I found one lonely pot one lonely pot here. So I got down and looked underneath here. Guys, I was not prepared. It was broken. I was so, I was so sad sad face, right? Like literally sad face. So I just gathered my emotions and continued to look on. <laughs> I really wanted that pot. So I'm just praying that I'll find something that I like even more better and that will like really fit into my new space when I find it. So I was able to find a couple cute little pots because I have this one really cute plant that needs a, and just needs to be repotted. So I was looking for something cause it's growing so well to give it some room to grow. So I found this one and that one at the bottom with the gray. And if you know me, you probably can guess which one went right into my basket because yep, that's the one I had to take that one home. So I love thinking and planning and just kind of getting a vision for how I want things to look in my new space. And I'm really excited. So hanging plants is something that I haven't done in a while. And I think that it'll be really nice in this new space to have some greenery hanging. And if I get lucky and find a loft space, I can have a place to put some plants on like a, on a ledge and they'll hang down. So it's time to head on over to Birmingham for the weekend and see what I can see. Cause I'm actually thinking about moving to Birmingham FYI and taking a trip over to visit my sister and her family and take some time to get away for a minute. So I made it safely. And as you know, this view at their house is oh, so satisfying. So Wish me luck this weekend, and I hope that I can get some good inspiration for the next phase of my life and finding an apartment to empty nest in and to build my business and to just continue to keep life simple. Talk to you soon. <laughs>